Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be doing a refresh on my wavy hair. I haven't done an updated refreshing video in over a year, but I will say for a while there, a lot of the time I was just dampening my hair on second, third, fourth day hair, scrunching it a little bit and kind of letting it reactivate the product on its own. Lately I have been doing a little bit more depending on what my hair looks like. So that's kind of what I want to share with you today. This is a perfect example of second day hair for me that is really kind of stretched out. It was a lighter product wash day yesterday, so I just don't have a lot of definition. So I'm going to get right into it. If you are new, subscribe down below if you haven't already. I do hair videos in general, beauty content on this channel, as well as some vlogs. Anyways, I always start out with my continuous mister. This is from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. And I always use this when I refresh, whether I put product in my hair or not, because dampening your hair is what reactivates your curls or waves. So I'm gonna start out with this and get my hair to a place where I feel like it is damp enough to apply product and scrunch and to do that without creating frizz. Um, this is something that you just sort of have to feel out. You sort of just have to practice a little bit and do it a few times and you will get used to sort of how wet your hair should feel in order to scrunch it without creating frizz. And basically, I want to make sure that there's no like underneath pieces throughout my hair that are fully dry. I want to make sure everything is at least slightly damp. And then I do like when the outer layers of my hair are a little bit more wet than the rest of it so that there's not that halo frizz that you get. I'm splitting my hair down the center because it's easier on refresh days when your hair isn't totally wet to get better product distribution with like sections so I'm just going to split my hair in half even though I wouldn't usually do this on a wash day I just smooth my hands over like all of my hair at once if that makes sense now as far as the actual product you use on your refresh day that is kind of personal I find that especially for my hair type and probably most people's honestly lighter products work best so I will use either a lightweight gel or a very light leave-in type of product. And that is what gives me the best result without making my hair too crunchy or frizzy. Something I want to note, even though I will not be doing this today, if you do not have a very lightweight gel or you want to make sure you have very even product distribution, whatever it is, a great option is to have a spray bottle with water and mix a little bit of gel into that, shake it up and then apply it like that to your hair and kind of use the spray to evenly distribute everything basically. I've heard a lot of people talk about doing that in my comments, People, other people on YouTube do that. So just something to keep in mind. For me personally, I have a really lightweight gel that I really like. So I'll be using that today. It is the Rhyme and Reason Wave Revival Gel Serum. This is very thin and lightweight and not too strong hold or anything. It's almost like a watery type of serum. And I'll kind of do maybe about that much for one side. And if you put the product in and you're scrunching and you feel like your hands are kind of sticking to your hair, if you know what I mean, especially with the gel, you would get this because the gel has sort of a sticky texture and that can happen a lot of the time. If you feel like that's happening, just grab your spray bottle and go in with more water. You do not want to be applying your product and have your hands sticking to your hair. That means your hair is not wet enough. Mine is not bad. It's not really sticking, but there is a little bit of dryness in there that I kind of feel. So I'm just going to go with my spray bottle and go over it one more time. Another way to tell that your hair is probably not wet enough is if you're noticing halo frizz right away before your hair even starts to dry and fully absorb the product. That probably means you don't have enough moisture in your hair. I think that side is good. I'm gonna move on to the next side. Try to get about the same amount for the other side. So this is the situation. I realize it's very hard to see because my hair is super dark, so it just kind of like all blends together and you can't really see the definition. I'll try to lighten it in editing, but I did want to say at this point, something that I will do sometimes, actually a lot of the time lately, is I'll go in with a salt texturizing spray. This one is from Rizzo's Curls. It is a Beach Waves 
texturizing salt spray. It is really great if you want that little bit of like texture, grit, volume in your hair, but you don't want something that's gonna be too intense. This is definitely on the lightweight side and it's never too much for my hair. It doesn't make my hair frizzy. I don't feel like my hair really needs it today because I do feel like since my hair was kind of fluffier when I started, I'm gonna have pretty good volume. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, which I will spray a little bit today and just kind of show you guys what I do when I use this. I'm not gonna like split my hair because I'm just like spraying kind of the outer parts. And I'll just do like a light kind of layer. On my wash days, I will use like five times the amount that I would on a refresh day because like I said, this is a lighter weight product and my hair soaks up a lot of it when my hair is really, really wet. So I would definitely use more product on a wash day, but just for a refresh day, I'm just gonna do like a light layer and that is it. Again, that's not something that's like a necessity if you don't have it, you can totally still do this routine. And also I should have mentioned at the beginning, I am not using any kind of dry shampoo today because it is only my second day hair and I don't have any grease on my scalp yet. But a lot of the time if I'm doing this on third or fourth or sometimes even fifth day hair, if my hair is greasy, I will go in with a dry shampoo on my roots. I am going to let my hair fully dry. I'm not going to really diffuse this time. I don't think I'll let you guys know if I end up doing that. I do feel like diffusing creates, yes, more volume on a refresh day and just in general, but also a little bit more frizz and kind of stiffness in my hair, like on refresh days specifically. So that is why I like to avoid it as much as possible lately anyways, unless I am like trying to get my hair to look really voluminous and scrunched up and defined for like a night out or I'm going to do something that day and I want my hair to look really good, then I will sometimes diffuse because I feel like it helps with that, but it definitely creates more frizz for like my hair the next day after the refresh. So that is why I'm gonna try to avoid it a little bit. But that's not something I do every time. I just wanted to note one or the other isn't bad. It's just personal preference. And I'll be back and show you guys what I do to finish off. All right, so I'm back. My hair is pretty much completely dry. I will say I did diffuse for like two minutes, literally, just because I have plans and I have to leave here in a little bit. So I wanted to make sure my hair would dry before I had to leave so I could film this. So I might have a little bit of extra frizz, but I feel like I just did it for like two or three minutes, so it should be fine. I was very careful. Obviously, you can see my hair already has way more just definition. I'm gonna grab an oil, just using my pros one. You can use whatever hair oil you have. I have a whole video that I literally just did talking about like the most popular hair oils out there. And I did also in past videos share like affordable ones that you guys can find at the drugstore. But I'm just putting this all over my hands and then I'm gonna scrunch my hair. I don't have too much of a cast because the products I use are really lightweight, but you know, I just want to make sure there's no stiffness. And I'll also kind of smooth it over the tops of my hair so I don't have frizz. And there's just so much more fullness to my hair. Like, it has all of that definition. So the waves and ringlets kind of create like this volume throughout my hair. I'm going to shake my roots a little bit, but there's no like product there. So it's not like they're stiff or anything. It just helps sometimes with a little extra volume. This is my hair. This is how it looks now that I've done my little refresh. I definitely like how it turned out. I've got some waves, but my hair doesn't feel stiff or producty or weighed down, which I hate on refresh days. And I think I definitely experienced that a lot more in the past, but now I feel like I know more what to do to avoid that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any tips for refreshing or if you've figured out what works to refresh your hair and you're just watching this for fun. Obviously, you know, as you guys can see, I don't have crazy root volume because Whenever I do the steps to get that, I do get a little bit more frizz. I actually just posted like a short and I also posted that on my TikTok and my Instagram if you guys want to check that out where I showed you how I get volume on my second, third day hair and stuff and it works, but you do get a little more frizz. So that's why I just avoided a few of those steps. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos you wanna see from me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will hopefully see you all next time. Bye.